we go again. I've got another record. This one is The Blues by Pete Fountain. Clarinet solos with orchestra directed by Charles Bud Dant. St. Louis Blues, Blue Fountain, Columbus Stockade Blues, Aunt Hager's Blues, Lonesome Road, The Memphis Blues, Gold Sticker. Can't read any of this stuff on the back. <laughs> so it looks even? Okay. All right. So we're doing another clock today. And we're going to use this. What color is this? This is a Montmartre premixed dark purple. Nothing fancy about that. Just dark purple. Dark purple. Do you need a doohickey? One's in the sink. I prefer a longer handled, longer ended, I should say, a handle. Using up these paints is making some pretty clocks. And it is experiment in the lab day. I did one other clock just prior and that one's with blues light blues and pinks dark blues too it came out predominantly light blue super pretty the first technique I tried on it didn't work so much made an alteration and El Blamo Fabuloso just like that made made magic so <laughs> I love it when the paints make magic Now, the, I don't think the Montmartre premixed are quite as thick as the Pouring Masters, but they are still a little on the thick side if you decide you want to use a premixed. Uh, check your consistency because you still might want to add some pouring medium or some water to it just to thin it down for whatever technique you're using, especially if you're using like a Dutch pour, it definitely will be too thick for that. And the center seems a tiny bit sparse. I just want to put a teeny bit on there. Teeny me. I actually might add that color into the lineup too because it's super awesome. Now I have a little different dessert cup that I was trying to find before Fiona Art made hers available. I was trying to find one. This one I found. It's got like 16 channels, but it doesn't slide down the top as easily as Fiona's does. And trying to get center. I hope that center. If it's not, it's not. We, you know, we tried. We tried anyway. Alrighty. Here we go. This one has so many little channels. It's insane. hoping once I get them lubed because the last time I like literally sat here and squirted down each channel so this is actually working out pretty nice the first cup I also destroyed because I tried to um, cut part of it off to make it an open cup so I could get the bottom ridges which that's what I'll probably end up using that Fiona art cup for because I'm terrible at reverse dips <laughs> not quite mastered it at all. I can't get the paper to stop sticking. It's, it's not the look I'm usually kind of going for, so. Uh-oh. I think my kitty got himself locked up. I'll be right back. I need to let him out. <laughs> kitty, are you in the office? Poor, you poor baby. Come join us. Come watch mama paint. All right. It looks like it looks a little bit more orange on the side. I think I might have missed one. Oops. 
Well, it happens. This one is so fun because of how many channels it gets and you get almost like a daisy kind of sunflowerish kind of effect. Oh, we got a little blue bowl there. A little blob. I think I forgot this one on the first round because I don't see it, but maybe I got it. Maybe it just didn't want to show up. Who knows? I don't try to guess what my paint does. Sometimes it just wants to do what it wants to do. And all I can say is, all right, that's what we're doing today. Well, the orange is kind of hiding a little bit that I sent through already too. So it's in there. Oops, I just blooped it a little extra down. My bad. That side's going to be all kind of fucked up. <laughs> well, it is. Let's just be honest, you know. And a little bloop on that side. <laughs> I want to do one more round because I was doing these kind of light. I'm trying not to no, get too much of an explosion of color all at once. And this one I always just spin out. The last one I did turned out so fantastic. And I used just a few colors on it, but it turned out, it turned out so good. I, it was for a commission piece. It turned out amazing. I couldn't have been happier. I think we're gonna be done and grab a grab the straw All right. now no this is the not fun part is trying to fish this thing out I wish it had a handle but it doesn't. And it has a whole lot of nothing going on in the center here. <laughs> Another spoon, perhaps? Mm, I think what we're gonna do is grab a stick. these outward or inward? I think I want to pull them inward. Yeah, at least this part inward. We're going to go part away inward. Did that work? Oh, not so much. Uh, let's try it here. Okay. So you really don't want to split them really too much. I just want to drag some of the color in to see if it helps the center out or I'm gonna have to go like ham on the center, which is quite possible. Go ham. Go ham, young lady. Go ham. Go ham, young man. Go ham. But the amount of detail of this little tiny dessert cup is kind of amazing. this is helping the center I don't know if it's completely the fix-all it still looks like it's gonna need a wee bit more something something and I'm not too happy with how it's tilting while I'm working on this and I know damn well this is level we're 
working my ass off making sure it was level. And I literally had it on camera showing that it was level. So it wants to be a cooter. I don't know what to say. It wants to be a cooter. It's very much like a chrysanthemum in the center. It's very interesting. And I won't pull it out. And I am literally just gonna start pulling it randomly because there are so many petals basically on here. Just pull one opposite of the one I'm pulling. I still feel like I need to put some orange or something, orange and pink maybe in the center. Orange, pink, and green. But we're gonna spin it before we do that. I just give him some evens. Even Stevens over here, even this up and kind of giving it this very florally look. And when we spin it, Everything changes, but you know, that's okay. All right. I honestly am quite happy with the way it's going so far. So let's give her a old spinner Rudy here. I can see if we can. For our spinner, slide it over. All right, here we go. Spin that record round and round, baby. Would you forget something in there, kitty? You want to go back in my office and get locked in there again? <laughs> oh, silly, silly kitty, kitty. to the edge of the record. Oh, how psychedelic and fun that is. It still didn't pull out enough of the orange. I really think the center needs some. Where's my stuff? Water balloon, my dirty water balloon. My dirty, dirty, dirty water balloon. Orange on it, ash and pink. And just kind of some excess out there. Boop doop, that didn't work for shit. All right, we have too much, too much purple. Maybe, maybe not. Dipper in my little puddle here. I don't know, there's a lot of purple. <laughs> so sometimes when that happens, I will directly drizzle the paint onto the, whatever I'm painting on. I usually just like to add a tiny bit in with, with the balloon, but since it just wants to pull the purple out, I want to put color in, not pull it all out. So. That's a better. Almost. Yeah, the green, as much green as I put in there, barely really showed. But it is super, super pretty. Eventually, 
I like it. I may sit here and dip at this for like an hour until I get it right, but sometimes it takes what it takes. It usually doesn't take an hour. <laughs> I was being facetious. It doesn't usually take an hour, but usually it can take a, a little bit till it just wants to. There, I'm a little happier with that. There, I, it's not perfect, but we've got striations where it actually looks like I want it to. And I want to continue that. Just pulling these down a little because we lost some of it in the spin. Not all of them, because some of them already still have a little tiny bit going for them. And I will put my finger in there if I need to. I'm not shy about finger painting. Like it. it came out very different. It's very unusual looking. I give it one more spin. Just kind of complete. Some of the edges, it's like almost there, but not quite. Let's put it on that way. And... Boop. That's a little bit better. A little happier with that now. And that. Right. Fussy, fussy, fussy with it. I am a bit of a fusser. <laughs> I will fuss with something sometimes to the point where I really royally screw it all up. There. There we go. Alright, I'm, I'm walking away. I'm walking away. Oh, it's actually, it's super fantastic. I really just want to get some of this off the edges here before I move it. Oh, I have the most giant mess of paint <laughs> on my spin table. I am thankful for the lowly Vuffy silicone mat. Yes, I did get the bigger one because I figured I could always cut it because it's just shy of the, the smaller one's just shy of 18 inches and my tray is 18 inches so I wanted it bigger because it always gets all over everything so <laughs> thank you so much for watching I will definitely take pictures of these as they dry and post it on the end of the video let's pop some bubbles and the other one beautiful beautiful cells this one didn't get any cells but we did get all kinds of really cool movement. It turned out nothing like the first one. Well, like the first one, I've done a few with that cup. But like the first one that I did that I thought was definitely worth selling. Oh, that one turned out gorgeous with oranges and purples. Similar concept, but it turned out nothing like this. So 
every painting is different and unique. <laughs> Bye, everybody. See you the next time.